It struck with such force, this highway was severed in two. Part of the road crumbled into the cliffside, with just the guardrail left clinging on. This is the southern island of Kyushu, where the typhoon made landfall on Sunday. Homes have been left in pieces, cars tossed around and dumped in fields, with others left underwater. One man was found dead inside his car, which was submerged in water, and another died after being buried in a landslide. That's according to Japan's state broadcaster. Shops and businesses have shut, hundreds of flights cancelled and train stations closed, leaving some stranded. I need to go back to Fukuoka, but the trains are all out of service, the expressways are closed and the flights are all cancelled. I came here for a wedding, then the typhoon came and the wedding was cancelled and I can't go back today. The Japanese Prime Minister today left the country, headed to New York to give a speech at the UN General Assembly. His trip delayed by a day after staying back to monitor the typhoon, which he said he will now do from abroad. While Nanmadol is now a low-pressure system over the Pacific, there are predictions rainfall totals could still reach up to 120 millimetres in some parts.